This video is sponsored by Invite to Elements. Hey, what's up guys? This is Wasi from FlameLineVisualEffects.com and welcome back to my another brand new After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a more than lower thirds inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's see what we will create today. If you want more tutorials like this then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Okay so let's get started. Okay so first create a new composition let's call it lower thirds. And I'm going with 1920 1080p frame rate 30 and duration 7 seconds long then click on ok. Ok let's import your image. Now place it into this timeline. Now make it small a little bit, something like this. Now go to toolbar and select ellipse tool. Then hold down Ctrl then Shift. Then create a circle, something like this. Then turn off stroke and turn on fill. Choose any color you want now select this uh, layer shape layer then go to toolbar and select this pan behind tool then hold down ctrl then double click on it now select this shape layer then make it center perfect now select this uh, uh, image and change the track map to alpha mat now select this image and make it smaller something like this uh, go to being of this animation then select this shape layer then press S then set a keyframe on scale now go to around 1 second 10 frames and set another keyframe then go to beginning of this animation and then scale amount set it 0 now select this uh, image then press s then go to second keyframe and then set a keyframe and then go to being of this animation and then simply increase the scale amount a little bit something like this now select all keyframes then press f9 and then open graph editor and then change the graph curve to something like this perfect looks good to me okay now select this two layer then right click then choose pre-compose and then select mobile attributes and rename it to circle then click on ok now go to toolbar and select paint tool then turn off fill and then turn on stroke and set it 20 pixel and then create a path something like this now select this shape layer then uh, click here to create mask and simply make sure your layer is selected then create a mask something like this now press M and then change the max mode to subtract Perfect. 
now do same with this path as well select the shape layer then click here then create a mask then press M again and then change the marks to um, mode to subtract design better projects faster with Envato elements get unlimited downloads of beautiful and ready to use template for your digital projects create more with premium design assets video templates mockups fonts presentations photos audio files and more all with commercial license for extra peace of mind Envato elements will make any projects better while saving your time efforts and money get unlimited downloads with Envato elements and start creating today now select this shape layer and then go to the search bar and select and um, search cap then line cap set it round cap okay now we'll click on add then click trim paths now go to trim paths then go to beginning of this animation then set a keyframe on end and then set it zero then go to around one second uh, one second eight frames and then end value set it 100 now select these two keyframe then press f9 and then open graph editor and then change the graph curve to something like this okay now adjust the time in a little bit okay now select this uh, shape layer and move it forward uh, 20 frames perfect now select this two layer then right click and choose pre-compose and then select mobile attributes and rename it to um, main then click on ok now go to around 1 second 15 frames then press P then set a keyframe on position then go forward few frames and then change the position something like this now select these two keyframes then press F9 then open graph editor and then change the graph curve good to me okay now uh, let's create a text so right click new then click on text then type your text Let's adjust the size and position. Looks good to me. Now select this text layer and then parent it to main. Now go to around maybe uh, two seconds then press T then set a keyframe on opacity and then set it zero then go forward few frames and then opacity amount set it hundred then select these two keyframe and press F9 now go to main and add a glow then glow radius set it 65 
perfect. Now create a null object. So right click new, then click on null object. Then select this main comp and then paint it to null one. Now go to around two second, fourteen frames or fifteen frames. Then select this null one layer. Then press S. Then set a keyframe on scale. Then go forward few frames. And then scale amount set it maybe 60 or maybe 65 then select these two keyframe then press F9 and then open graph editor and then change the graph curve looks really good to me now select all layers then right click then choose pre-compose then I'll rename it to main 2 Now go to around 3 second 15 frames and then press um, Ctrl Shift then press D. Now delete this layer. Now select this layer then press Ctrl plus D. Then right click then go to time and then time select time reverse layer. Simply drag forward. Our animation is complete. Press 0 to run to view this. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Have a great day, and I will see you in the next video. Till then, peace out.